Oh my gosh. Okay. Do you, are, are you ready? Okay. What is up, y'all? I'm your girl, Carolita, with Digital Media at Bottle Rock, and I am here with a very special guest, Thunderstorm Artist. What's up, man? How are you guys doing? How are you doing? You just had an amazing set. How are you feeling about Bottle Rock? I'm freaking buzzing. It was amazing. I mean, it was so, like, people showed up, man. Like, first set of the day, getting to kick off Bottle Rock is such an honor and a pleasure. It was just, it was unlike anything that I've ever experienced. So I'm so happy to be here, and I'm on cloud. Yeah, I'm exceeded cloud nine. I'm on cloud 11, man. We're doing this. <laughs> Is this your first festival that you have done? Not my first festival, but first time ever at Bottle Rock, and I tell you, it's unlike any other festival I've ever played. Uh, you've been, you're from a small town in Hawaii, yeah. and I want to know, like, what is, you've been across the country, right? Yeah. What is your favorite place that you have visited so far in the United States? I mean, if you're talking in favorite venue, I played Red Rocks Amphitheater in Colorado, and that was probably the most iconic thing you have ever played in the experience. Like, it just gives me chills thinking about it, like all the artists who have stepped on and whatnot. But if you ask me, like, what's my favorite city that I've been to, um, it's still New York City for me, man. Like, New York is just, it, it reminds me of a fast-paced Hawaii. Like, a lot of people don't get that, but it's like, New York is so multicultural, and that's like Hawaii, man. It's like, it's all about culture, and it's all about respect, and that's what New York is. It's just a little faster. You don't get that in California? I feel like we're very diverse. That's how I grew up, too. <laughs> no? I do get that in California. Uh -huh. I do. I actually have a lot of family. My mom is from Fresno, California, and then her and my dad actually met in L.A., and then they lived in Beverly Hills for years and whatnot. But I frequent, for some reason, I frequent New York a little bit more than I did here in California. How is growing up in a musical family and then taking on that and being musical, and are you passing it on to your son? Oh, I mean... To answer the last question 100 yes. percent my son was wanting to snatch my guitar from me the whole time i was up there on stage <laughs> it's like he loves it man it's the first thing he crawled for um it's brings me such a special joy to watch him play an instrument and it's never be something i'll force on him but if he loves it i'm gonna teach him everything i know and more um yeah growing up in a big musical family was amazing there's 11 of us six boys and five girls we all played music my mom sang opera and jazz since she was 10. my dad played a lot of music and they met in motown and so they just grew us up on like all the old cats, man, like all the good music, all the different genres. And so at our house though, the funny thing was we were allowed to be competitive with everything except music because they wanted to um, really highlight the individualism of like all the different things that each one of us as siblings had to bring to the table. And so, yeah, we got to grow up listening to so many like good songs. My dad had a rule, he said, you can't say you don't like a genre of music unless you can play it or you understand it. So I had to learn a lot of different genres. You could find fun little videos if you look up like Ron Artie's Family Band on YouTube. And there's videos of me like this high with a mohawk playing the bongos and, and playing some weird music and stuff. But I love it, man. Growing up in family, it's, it's an honor to carry on the lineage. And you surpassed the 10,000 hours that everybody's always talking about if you grew up in it. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you talked about your son, and do you bring him on tour with you? Because I know you're going on tour with the train this summer. Are you yeah. bringing him on tour? Yes, that's my hope. And my hope is to be able to, you know, have him there with me in every moment of the day. Because, you know, music is, is a huge part of who I am. It's a huge part of my family. And to be able to show them, like, you know, what your dad does and stuff, even at an early age, I feel like he really appreciates it. Um, and so, and I just get that quality time with him because, man, he's everything. So, you know, being gone for months and him being home, that, that hurts. So um, if he can be there, he'll be there. Is it ever hard to travel with the, your son? Because I have two kids of my own, and I'm going on vacation, and we just came back from L.A., and it's just, like, a lot to pack. i seen that your wife called you the packing master, packing the car. Is it rough going on tour with him? I mean, it is. You know, everyone sees, everyone sees the highlights, uh -huh. but no one sees, like, when you're in the trenches, you know, right. when you got, like, six suitcases, and you carry them down, like, to TSA and all that stuff. But, you know, it's kind of hard, but it's worth it. It's yeah. worth it. And then that's the way I was raised. Like, just because it's difficult doesn't mean, like, you know, you give up and you kind of cave under it. It's just like, it's worth it. And this is what you have to do to be able to bring him on. And then one day, you know, he'll carry his own suitcase. And I ain't got to worry about it. Right. But right now, man, it, it's good. We've, we've developed a system and it's been really good. But um, quality time is one of the most important things you do. You ask any parent. I'm a young parent. But um, quality time with your kid, you, there's nothing like it. They grow up so fast. So every second, every minute matters. And... I do this for my family, so having here is just, it's a it's a win win. What is the weirdest thing that you have seen on tour since you've been on tour for a while now, right? The weirdest thing, man. That's a good question. What's the weirdest thing, man? Oh man, I I can't talk about it. No, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. no, no uh, man. What's the weirdest thing? I don't know. I, I don't like. I live a very clean lifestyle, so I don't get to see a lot of weird stuff. And usually, if there is, I kind of remove myself from it. Right. But um. 
Yeah, that's the best way I can answer that yeah. question. We had people talking about they had seen seizures at the festivals and like people like pulling down. <laughs> Today, you know, I'm freaking scabbed oh, no. my finger. I don't know if you can see what it is there. That from? You play guitar? My guitar. I don't I use a pick. Oh, so okay. I was up there and I was I was slinging and I looked down and I was like, oh, that's a little red there. Yeah, but, <laughs> But, yeah, the it made sense. That's what you got. You got a passion, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. They don't say it for no reason. Okay. Is there anything else that you want to talk about to, today with Bottle Rock or anything that you want to say real quick before we head out of there? I don't want to take too much of your time. Oh, no, thank you. Um, first yeah. of all, it's an honor to be here, man. Like, this is a festival with so many iconic artists, man. Like, and so many people got their break here. So I want to thank Bottle Rock for adding me to the lineup. Me and my team, we're just so thankful. And um, just, yeah, if you like the music, Shoot me a follow on Instagram. It's pretty easy. I think I'm the only guy in the world named Thunderstorm. If not, please hit me up. But, um, yeah, thank you for doing this with me. And, I, uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for reaching out. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed you. You got a good spirit on you. You got a good vibe, and I'm loving it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all the time we have. Thank you for watching. This is Digital Media, your girl, Carolita. Thank you. Bye. Bye.